All right, welcome back to the Stormworks Basics Tutorials. Um, so in this one, uh, in honor of us getting the underwater update, um, I thought I'd do a Stormworks Basics on submarines. So let's get started here. Um, so again, one of the things that um, we want to kind of understand first is how the mechanics of Stormworks works. Um, and so, you know, we talked about this before in some of the other tutorials, so we'll go through. So, um, the way that the buoyancy uh, model works in game is essentially when you have a, an enclosed volume, that enclosed volume, it fills with air. And it you can use that as ballast, essentially. So air ballast. Air ballast gives you buoyancy. A uh, weighted ballast will give you essentially anti-buoyancy. You know, so if you think of it that way, um, you know, air if you have a ballast tank full of air, it's going to uh, make you float. And if you have one that is full of, you know, weight, essentially, it's going to make you sink. So pretty simple. Um, now you can do things like so. If you think about it, if you took a, uh, if you took like a pot, you know, for boiling uh, water, and you stuck it in your sink, it's going to float. And the same is true with boats, of course, right? Like a little rowboat, this will float. So let's test this out and see how it works in Stormworks. So as you can see, this floats, and you can kind of see um, the water goes up to about the halfway point. So let's go back here and let's call it back. Now let's uh, do this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to... So let's look at the weight. So the weight is 884. Let's put a, um, a roof on this. So now we have an enclosed volume. Okay, so it's an enclosed volume of air. Now this weighs 1144. All right, so this weighs um, a couple hundred more, and let's spawn this and see how this behaves. So if you look, this, despite being heavier, despite having less air volume available, because remember, we filled in some of that air volume with blocks, this is floating higher in the air. And so this is not true to life, and a lot of people will complain, oh, Stormworks, you know, is, you know it's not true to life, or it's, it, um, you know, the buoyancy, or whatever. It doesn't really matter, <laughs> you know, uh, unless they change it, it doesn't matter. You have to work within the constraints of the game. And so, in the game, if you have an enclosed volume, i.e., there's a roof on here, what the game does is it spawns air in here, or it spawns a liquid in here. All right, so, what if you have an enclosed volume, as you saw, you could, you know, you got more buoyancy. So now let's start talking about how this pertains to submarines. All right. So to understand some basics about the game, uh, one of the things that you know a lot of people have been critical of, and that's been kind of especially with this new update, is everybody's uh, complaining about we don't have compressed air. How can we make submarines? You know, can't make submarines. Well, ideally, yes, we'd have compressed air. We'd have the ability to pump out our ballast tanks when we're at low depths. The problem is once we get below, and I've seen a, a number of different things, some below 50 meters, some you know as low as 200 meters, um, you're not going to be able to pump out your ballast tanks. You cannot overcome the water pressure at that depth. So the pressure, you know, if you think of a column of water, if you had a, I'll do it in um, Imperial, if you had a one inch square, right, and that one inch square went from wherever you are in the water all the way to the surface, you have to imagine you're lifting that weight. Right, so if, it, if you were a foot underwater, it would be uh, one inch square, and it would be 12 inches of water above you, and that would have a certain mass. Well, if you're 300 uh, feet, 300 meters, whatever it is, below, you now have that huge column of water you're having to lift while the pump is having to fight that, that all that mass to get the water out. So, you, so your pumps will probably not work at low depths. So a lot of people say, oh, subs are impossible. Well, you see a lot of people on the workshop and a lot of people on Discord with subs that work. And so one of the ways that they accomplish this is with neutral buoyancy. Okay, so um, if we think about ballast tanks really quickly um, as a concept, right? You know, we'll just make another one really quickly as a concept. So we have a ballast tank here. All right, I'm just going to make it kind of 2D. All right, so when it's filled with air, we're going to float at the top. When it's filled with water, we're going to sink to the bottom. All right, real simple. I'll make a super quick ballast tank here, and we'll just do it. So, again, you already saw the... I'll just do the same one so you can see it again. All right, so we're just going to make... A, I'm just going to make a tank here, 
and very simply uh, we'll work on the, just the concept here of ballasting. All right, so enclosed volume of air, it floats. All right, simple. All right, let's take a spawner. Okay, take a fluid spawner. We'll put that in here. We'll just select water. Um, see, see water, spawn it. It sinks, right? It's full of water, it sinks. All right, uh, I have to swim down and get it. All right, so now if we filled it, say, 50% of the way, let's see, does it sink or does it uh, float? It floats. Okay, so that's ballasting, right? As you notice, before it was floating up really nice and high. Well, now it's floating low. So as we add in that ballast, we get lower in the water. Well, what is neutral buoyancy? So neutral buoyancy is essentially this. So it is, it is neither going to rise to the top or it's neither is it going to sink. So what we could do is we could place this. So let me actually do it. So let's place this underwater, right? And as you can see, this is about halfway, right? It's halfway to the bottom and it's, it's, it's a little, as low as I can put it below. All right, so 50% was not enough. Let's go to 75% and let's test it. 75 sinks. That's that's um, positive. That's uh, negatively buoyant. So if it sinks, it's negatively buoyant. All right. So we want neutral buoyancy. So let's go to 70. I, I've tried this a little bit before. Let's go to 72 percent. Still sinks. Let's try 70. Per I'm gonna have to keep swimming down. I think. All right, let's try 72%. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to play with these numbers, and this is this is just the conceptual phase to show you that. Okay, perfect. Look at this. See, it's not rising. It's also not sinking. See how it's just sitting there? It's not going to the bottom. It's not coming up to the top. This is what's called neutral buoyancy. All right, so this because this is neutrally buoyant, there's enough water in there that it's counteracting the buoyancy of the air. Now we both have water as ballast and we have the weight of the blocks as ballast. So we can use weight blocks, we can use just the weight of the craft as ballast as well. But notice how this is not going up and it's not going down. That's called neutral buoyancy. Now what can we do if we have a neutrally buoyant craft? Well now, I'm just a little character, right? I can swim down, I can push on this, and look, I sink it. Alright, now let me see if I can get under it and push it back up. All right, let's try. I might not be able to get under it because I'm kind of jammed in here. But because this is neutrally buoyant, if I could get under that, let me actually do it. Let me go here. All right, let's spawn it again. All right, so we have our neutrally buoyant cube. All right, look, neutrally buoyant, not moving at all. Now let me get under it as a character and let me push up. This should float to the top now. I should be able to push that to the top. As you can see, I can push it up. All right, so what this is telling us is if it's neutrally buoyant, we can use a small bit of energy, a small force, which is actually probably a tiny bit uh, negative buoyant, but we can use a tiny force, i.e. our body, or propellers to push us up or to push us down. All right, so this is the concept of neutral buoyancy. If you are neutrally buoyant, the craft neither wants to go up or down, and you can then impart force on it using propellers. Now we have the same concept, my degrees in aeronautical science, we have the same concept in um, with uh, aircraft. You know, if you are, uh, if you have neutral stability, um, the, the wing of the aircraft neither wants to lift you up or lift you down. Often you have this with symmetrical wings where, um, you know, the, well, you need to essentially change the angle of attack and use your um, thrust, whatever that might be, propellers, jets, to change your attitude and your altitude. And so we can do the same thing with a um, with a submarine to get moving. So let's let's start our submarine here. Let's save this as I, I did it one yesterday. Stormarks basics submarine. Okay. All right, so now let's let's bring these concepts into um, reality and make ourselves a little submarine. So, one thing we need to understand is we always want a craft to be balanced in game. So we want to make sure that um, 
pretty much our center of gravity is in line with our center of thrust, is in, so in line with our center of lift, in this case our center of buoyancy. All right, and we need our buoyant, so like if I put a buoyant volume on the front and nothing on the back, well the front's gonna come up, right? If I put one on the front and the back and they equal, it's gonna come up level if it's left and right, so all of that. So we want some uh, balance. So we're gonna try to make our little submarine here. And so we want to make this as neutrally, uh, as, as balanced as possible. All right, so this is going to be my length. Let me look at my length. What are we at there? We are at um, 5.25 meters. All right, so now let's start putting in some glass. All right, so we're going to put in some windows. Now, let's start working on this. So I want to, um, let me just go up a couple here. And I'm gonna put a uh, I'm gonna put a three by one here. Kind of want actually go like this. So I'm trying to get this balanced out. So I'm gonna do a three window here. Let's go like this. Okay. So now let's go to windows. All right. So I'm gonna take a uh, three by three window here. I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna try to start this in the balance. So I want um, I want the center of thrust in the center, um, weight and buoyancy. I want everything as balanced as I possibly can. All right, so I'm going to start with this glass here. All right, and so let's start getting some windows put on this. All right, so I want one three by one angles. All right, so I'm just going to make a little enclosed area here where a um, person can sit. So I think, um, let me do, okay, I'm just going to change up my plan here just a hair. All right, so let's put some glass. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to put some corner pieces here. All right. We'll do one more. I'm actually going to slope the glass a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to go like this, and I'm going to make a little cab for my character to sit in. All right, so I'm going to just set this up. All right, so now, as I put in a cab for my for my character to sit in, remember that this is going to cause uh, some buoyancy. This is going to give me a buoyant volume uh, of air that wants to go up. So I need to put some buoyant air in the back, or I need to counteract that with weight. So let's go, what's that? That'll be right there, okay. All right, so now let's go to window three by three. I could have done it this way before, but we'll do it like this. All right, so now I'm making just a cab for my character to sit in. All right, so I'm just making an enclosed cab here. Now, again, we have to consider that this is going to be buoyant, so this end is going to want to come up. So we need to put some air volume in the back, or we need to counteract this with weight in order to make sure that it doesn't just float to the top. So I'm just going to make a nice big glass cab for our um, occupant to sit in. All right, and this way we can see. All right, I'm just going to keep this basic. Again, I'm not going to um, overly decorate this. I want this to be just a basic form so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, in the bottom here, I'm going to put, um, I'm actually going to do block because we don't need, um, we don't need to see out directly under our seat. All right, and I'm going to put a seat for my occupant to sit in. All right, so I'm just going to put a pilot seat in here. Okay, so there we go. 
So now we have a nice little enclosed area for our, our person. And we're going to be able to um, put him in here, or her. And um, okay, so now we have an enclosed place for our occupant. Now, again, everything needs to be balanced. So I've added a bunch of air volume here, right? So I should add some air volume in the back. All right, so I'm just going to kind of roughly try to do that. So as you can see, we're right on this line. Let's go over here to this line. And I'm going to kind of try to, now you don't have to make it perfectly symmetrical, but I'm going to try to make it somewhat symmetrical so that we, um, so that the front's not tipping up too much or, you know, vice versa, the back's not coming up too much. So we're counteracting the buoyancy that I'm adding to the um, front with the rear here. Okay, so I'm just kind of following the shape of this. And then I can come in here and um, that's what was that? That's, that is six. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. All right, so this isn't going to be perfect, but what we want to do is we want to counteract that air volume in the front with air volume in the back, and that's going to allow us to uh, make sure that we're not tipping one way or the other too much. All right, so let's start working on the shell of this craft. All right, so I'm actually going to come up a block here in the back. All right. All right again, now this is not designed. Again, this is not designed to be pretty. This is designed to be functional. Um, you know, this is not going to be a complete submarine. I'll do that in another video. This is just going to be a basic craft that you can kind of, you know, see a proof of concept and learn from it. If you want to take some microcontrollers, you can do that. All right, so starting to get a shell of a um, of a submarine here. Okay. All right, so we've got the shell of our submarine here. Let's fin let's finish flushing this out. So I want to kind of make this a tiny little sub. All right, we'll test uh, this floating in a moment here. So again, the the word of the day here is balance. We want this nice and balanced. I don't need to come in yet. Okay. All right, and if we didn't balance this again, like I said, the front would float up, and it would be. Um, you know, it would be sticking out of the water more than the, the rear, and we'd have issues. So we want to make sure that's, that's, that this um, floats in a balanced way. Right. Right, now we're going to use water ballast as a method to go from positive buoyancy to negative buoyancy. Now, as I was saying, is if we get this to neutral buoyancy, we really don't need to to put much ballast in because we want, for most of our time here, we're going to want um, neutral buoyancy. And we're going to use the engines to actually push us up and down. All right, and this allows us to go up and down with very little effort. As we remember, I used my player character, and just with him pushing, I could get where I needed to go. All right, so we're finishing this up nicely. Let me go like that. I'm trying not to make this too pretty. I just want to get it done. There we go. That's more what I want. All right, so we're about ready to do a float test here to see how this floats. And we want to make sure it floats nice and evenly, that we're not tipping to the side, that we're... Fl uh, okay, so now let's look at our center of gravity. Center of gravity is still right in that central peg there. Let's look inside here. Let's finish this belly off here. 
Okay, good. So we have an enclosed space here. We have a cab. Um, let's float it. So let's just, I don't want it to drop, you know, from a high height into the water. Let's just stick it in the water. Let's spawn it. All right, so now note, okay, we're rolling, which is fine. We're going to work on that. But look how it's, um, right, the front's not sticking up more than the back. The back's not sticking up more than the front. We have balance there. We just have an issue with roll, and that's fine. We're going to add ballast tanks on the side here. All right, so now I'm going to add, um, I want to put in a hatch here um, to get into. So let's put a hatch. Okay. And so I want this hatch... Um, above the water when we are um, when we're neutrally buoyant and or when we uh, have positive buoyancy and that's going to allow us to get in with our character okay now some of the things we can use for ball ballast especially in a submarine is batteries right we need electrical power um, to move when we don't have any diesel so we need to be able to have um, that so we can use batteries because the more weight we add, um, you know, it will counteract this buoyancy. Well, it might as well be batteries because we can use those batteries for power. All right, so I'm just going to add in some ladder, a uh, ladder here and a hatch. Okay. All right, so let's put that there. Okay, so here's a ladder and a hatch. All right, so now we were rolling, right? Uh, we're not wide enough, and that's fine. We're going to add some water ballast tanks here. All right, we're going to add them right around the center of gravity. So let's look at our center of gravity. That's the cube. All right, I'm going to count. So it's about, it's a little bit in the middle of these two. So that's fine. This will be our middle point. So we can go equidistant. So let's go, well, let's keep them low. Let's go one, two, what's that, three, four. Let's go f uh, full five here. And a full five there. And let's see, does that about center? That's about the center right there. So we want one, two, three, four, five. We want one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have one too many on this side. Okay, good. So this is where our tanks are going to be. So let's build some tanks. All right, so we're going to build our tanks up here. And so these are going to hold some water so that we can increase or decrease our ballast. So I didn't want to do that. Let's do this. All right, now I don't need these tanks to be too huge. Again, you know, if we're close to neutral buoyancy, and we can add some weight blocks to do that. Um, let me go ahead and do that. All right, so we're just going to be able to take in a little bit, a little volume of water, and we're going to be able to um, expel that little volume of water, and that's going to either cause us. Now we, I don't ever want to go positive, uh, negatively buoyant. I never want us to sink with water. Now that's what a lot of people have been talking about. You'll probably see this: how the depths are terrible. They didn't put in um, necessary things like compressed air. Well. Again, that would be great. I would love it if they did it, but they didn't. So we can complain about it, or we can just make it work. And so let's make it work instead of complaining about it, uh, because that's not going to get us anywhere to complain about it anyways. So let's go ahead and make this work. And so the way we're going to make this work is I never want to go um, negatively buoyant. I don't want the water to drag me down. I want my engines to take me down. I want to go at most to uh, neutrally buoyant. And then I want to use the power of my engines to uh, have me sink or have me rise. Okay, so we have a couple ballast tanks there. Let's put some ballast tanks in the back here. All right. All right, so we have our two tanks here set up. And these two tanks are going to be are going to take water on and they're going to take water out. All right. So now let's look inside. As you can see, we have volume. Now we could increase the volume of these uh if we need to. Um I'm not sure we do yet. So let's again, let's do a float test. Uh let's see where we're at in the water. Let's spawn it and let's see. It may still roll. Nope, it's sitting more level now. Okay, so see how high it's sitting? That's great. Now, why is it great that it sits nice and high in the water? Um, because, oh, 
little bit tippy still. All right, now we can fix the, some of this tippiness. Let me fix the tippiness. Okay, so see this center of gravity? See how it's at about the center? No, now that's why it's rotating around the middle is because of that. So we can fix that with um, some weight. So we'll put in some weight blocks. So let's find the center of gravity. It's right here by the um, ladder. All right, so let's go right to the center of gravity. Bingo there. Um, let's cut one, two, three, four. Let's cut four before the center of gravity. Let's cut four. Uh, one, two, three, four behind right there. Let's take some weight blocks. Weight blocks. I'm just going to color them this gray color so the diamond disappears. Hopefully the devs will eventually put something in that, um, that we can color that. Okay, so now we have weight blocks in there. So let's, uh, let me undo that. So f that's 461 weight for our current submarine. With weight blocks, we're at, um, what was it, 461? 461. So we're talking um, what, 290 mass of weight blocks in there. Let's spawn that and see what happens. All right, so see how it's less tippy? It's sitting lower in the water. Let's see if we can jump on this. All right, now see how it's much less roly-poly roly because we've put the weight below that middle line. Okay, so now I can get in. I can jump. Oh, let me not jump. All right. Now I could make these tanks a little bit wider, just give me more um, stability, but that's fine. Okay, so we're in. Uh, we can jump in our seat. Let me show you a trick here. Now when I make something this narrow, um, this is a little trick you can do to make it so that you can get out of your um, get out of your craft. I'm just going to take a couple block there. I want symmetry off. Now, symmetry disabled. Okay, why can't I put that there? Oh, the ladder won't let me. Okay, let me see. Let me do this. Cut that. Paste it like that. Merge it. I just need to move my ladder a little so I can put um, a little cheat seat in here. All right, cut that. Move that back one block. All right, so we'll merge that there. Okay, so I'm going to call I call this a cheat seat. And so what a cheat seat is, is you take a seat, one of these padded seats, and when you want to make something really narrow like this, it's tough to get out of your seat. Now you could put it on a pivot and rotate your seat. Um, okay, it's it's sinking because I didn't merge my hatch. I don't. I left a hole by my hatch. Let me put that and fix that. All right, let's spawn it. All right, so now I'll show you what the cheat seat does. So we jump on. Theoretically, we jump on. Okay, we're going to open our hatch, we're going to go in, we'll jump in our seat. Now we're stuck in our seat, but if we get up and we look at this padded seat, we can get around our seat. So that's just what all my cheat seat does. Okay. And now I'm just going to flip this hatch around. I can't flip the hatch around, that's fine. Alright, so now we're out. Um, Alright, so now we have a submarine um, to a certain extent. All right, so now we want to see if we can get this to be neutrally buoyant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some spawners. All right. I'm going to take two spawners, one on either side here. I'm going to select them, and I want to make them salt water. Okay. It's, it, it's not a huge uh, – I didn't uh, have symmetry on. It's not a huge deal if they're fresh water. You just – you're going to put salt water in there when you, um, when you end up pumping it out. All right, so as you can see, that's not enough to sink us. That's fine. What we can do is we can start adding mass in here to um, account for that. So let's start doing uh, some batteries. All right, so batteries are going to be a good way for us to add mass because they're also giving us the benefit of electricity. Okay. I'm just not going to worry about too much. I'm going to put them on the wall like this. All right, so we're adding mass here. All right. All right. So let's check the mass. So okay. So we're um, we're doing pretty well there. Let's check the mass. We've gone up 200. Let's try it now. All right. And that's fine. It's a little bit uh, back heavy just because we put the batteries more in the rear than in the front. But we're start. We're trying to get to neutral buoyancy here. Okay. So let's go back and grab this. And let's start putting some more weight blocks in here. 
and we need to balance it in the front. So again, the more balanced your craft, the less work the engines are going to have to do and the fins and everything else. Alright, so as you see, we're getting closer and closer to neutral buoyancy. Alright. And so what I'm actually going to do here is let's go like this. Let's go selection grid. Let's select all of our ballast tank. Like so. Let's cut this. And let's move this out. Uh, let's start with... We'll start with one block. Paste that. And then we'll move the other one on the other side. Cut that, move that up one uh, one block. Paste that. All right, now we'll fill in with, um, what I'll do is I'll fill in with regular blocks up top, and I think I'm going to put some weight blocks on the bottom. All right, so what we're doing when we put in weight blocks is we're ballasting with uh, mass that we don't want to change. The water is only the volume that we want to be able to add or um, add or get rid of. We can also increase the water volume. I'll show you some tricks on how to do that. Some of the in-game tricks. It's not really a trick. It's actually it's pretty realistic, and I like the way it operates. So I'll show you that in a second. All right, good. So now let me add some more weight blocks here. So I'm going to add all this is going to be weight block. Uh, I need symmetry on. Okay, so these here I'm going to make weight blocks. So these grays are my weight blocks. And I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to... I need to finish this here. Let's go regular blocks here. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now I'm not putting weight blocks up high because I want that center of gravity as low as possible. That's going to keep my craft uh, float, uh, you know, sitting and floating in the right orientation. You know, that's going to keep me from rolling over and having my belly in the air. All right, so let's merge this all up. All right, so we still have these spawners in here spawning water. Let's uh, spawn the vehicle. Beautiful. See how that went all the way to the bottom? That's what we want. Okay, so now what we've... Uh, I have to swim down. All right, so now what we've reached is we've reached positive buoyancy. Okay, so we're going to control our buoyancy now with water. So let's go down to, let's say, 80% on both tanks. And this should get us, hopefully, to the point where we are neutrally buoyant. Now, we're going to keep playing with this number. Okay, see how it's it's still rocking and rolling on the bottom there? 80 was too much. Let's just go... Okay, it's annoying that I have to swim to the bottom, but I'll do it. Okay, so let's keep going down. Let me go to 70%. And so I'm going to try to find neutrally buoyant, neutral buoyancy manually. Now, as we change, so it's good because we have an extra 30% we can play with. That's good because as we add other systems and weight, still sinking, we're going to be adding things like electric motors and um, and uh, props. So that all adds mass. So we want a good bit of air that we can play with. So let's go to 60 on either side. So what we're looking for here is neutral buoyancy. Now we're going to have to do this again when we add some more mass, which is fine. Still sink in. All right, good. So what we can also do, I'm going to have to keep swimming down. Uh, what we can also do is we can take off some weight blocks, which is fine. Um, but we're not going to do that yet. Let's go to 50. Hopefully we can get close. I'm going to start adding some of the other systems if this one doesn't do it for me. All right, so there we go. We're, we're sinking less and less. Uh, it's frustrating that I have to swim down. All right, so let's do this. Um, we can also erase some weight blocks. Um, let's erase some weight blocks and replace them with regular block. I just want to get this to neutral buoyancy is what I want to do here. All right, so there we have um, positive buoyancy. It's floating to the top like a cork. That's positive buoyancy. Let's go to let's go right to seventy percent. We probably um, lost a lot with that um, with dropping weight blocks. Okay, so we're close there. All right, well, again, we want to keep a little bit of uh, a variation here so that we have some extra space um, to account for things. But let's go to 80. I want to try to just get this to neutral buoyancy before we move on. All right, so we're very close there. 
um, to, as you can see, it's it's getting close to being where it, it wants to just stay stationary. Um, let me go to 100% and let's see if this sinks us. If not, we'll have to add some mass. Okay, so see how it's uh, it's pretty close. It's still positively buoyant. We're going to add a little bit of weight blocks back in. And we're going to add them right on the center line here, right by the center of gravity. So let's add four blocks here and see if that does it for us. All right, perfect. So that barely sinks. We should be close. I know this is tedious going through uh, neutral buoyancy, but the closer you get to neutral buoyancy, remember, when we get super low in the water, we are not going to be able to utilize um, our pumps. Our pumps are going to be overwhelmed by the water pressure. So we can use the engines fine. So the closer we are to neutral buoyancy, the less engine power we need. Perfect. See how it's barely moving? Let's go look. See how it's not sitting on the bottom? See how it's not, it's sinking just barely. See how it's barely sinking? We're close. All right, so we're close here. So we need to take, let's try 85% water. And that's giving us a nice 15% to play with. All right, and so part of people's problem is they don't spend the time doing this tedium here. All right, so now we're close to neutral buoyancy. So let me see if I can push this up with my player character. Okay, so I'm pushing this with my body, and I can push the submarine to the surface. All right, so that means that my engines are going to have more than enough power to do it. Okay, perfect. So let me just save this really quick. Stormworks Basic Submarine. Okay, so now let's start working on engines. So um, we want to have some engines going forward. All right, so this is going to control our forward and back motion here. All right, so now, again, you want everything in balance. So let's look at where our center of gravity is here. So our center of gravity is on this line. So that's where we want our center of thrust. All right, because if our center of thrust was too high, right, it's going to push in the top, and it's going to cause our nose to dip down. If we had our center of, of thrust too low, it's going to push below the center of gravity and cause our nose to come up. If we have our center of thrust in line with our center of gravity, that's going to cause it to push us straight ahead. All right, so that's what we want. We want that like that. All right, and then we want to um, we want to have. Let's find where our center of uh, right there is our center of gravity. So let's go like this. Let's go. Where are we here? We're close. We're right here. Um, trying to think. So let me go. Um, I think I'm going to end up probably dragging that center of gravity backwards. So let's go like this. Let's do prop. Let's do a small prop here. All right. So there's a the propellers there. These are going to be for going up down. Okay. So those are there. All right. Now let's look inside here and let's put a motor. All right. Motor. Let's look. Uh, we need to punch a hole through here. So let's go like this. And then like this, and then I'm going to put a enclosed pipe like so. And then I'm going to put a motor here, so I'm just going to grab a motor. All right, so here's our, so this is going to allow us to go forwards back. This is going to allow us to go up, down. And then we're going to use uh, just some simple fins and rudders for um, pitch and rudder control. All right, so again, uh, the rudder, again, we want to keep everything at center of gravity if we can. So a rudder is three, so let's go uh, fin rudder. All right, so we're going to go fin rudder here. All right, so that's right at our center, so the center is there. Now, it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but again, the closer you get, the better it's going to function. Okay. All right, just fleshing out this fin here. All right, so there we go. We have a fin there. All right, now let's do some fins um, for pitch. I'm actually going to move these forward just, uh, yeah, I'll move these forward just a hair. Let's go right there. Let's move this one forward a hair as well. All 
All right, and let's just go. I'm just gonna delete these out. These aren't connected yet, so I can just delete them. All right, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the straight pipe in here just to connect again. We'll do a motor. All right, and we have motors again. All right, so now we have. Uh, let's merge these up. All right, so now I'm gonna just put some fins here to um, control our pitch. Now I could make it so that these um, angle. Um, I don't want to get into that level of complexity um, on this simple one. Um, we could make those pivot, but uh, I'm just going to do fins. All right, so we have fins that go up down. That's going to control our pitch, and we have fins that go uh, left right to control our um, yaw, and that's what we want to um, get this going here. And just a little aesthetics here. I'm just going to put a square block there. Okay, good. All right, so now let's start hooking this up. Um, all right, so I want pitch to be WS, so that's going to go to my two pitch fins here. I want, um, I'm trying to think, what do I want? WS, up, down. Let me just try to think how I want this. Okay, so I want up, down to be my motors. I want, um, i trying to think, of, I'm just, okay, AD is gonna go to the rudder. I'm not gonna com complicate this too much. All right, so let's go test these. We wanna make sure these are all going the right direction. All right, so now, uh, remember our craft is sinking, that's fine. So let's look at our ballast. Ballast currently is at 85%. Ballast is currently at 85%. Let's do this really quick. Let's put a meter in here. And I want to read what each tank has. So um, I'm just going to put a dial up top. This is just going to give me a figure of uh, where we're at. So I have infinite electricity on. Um, I want fluid uh, level. Spawn that in. So I want to just read um, how much water we have in those tanks for neutral buoyancy. Okay. So 690. 690 aside. So we're going to remember that 690 is uh, neutrally buoyant. And that's. Um, about 85 percent. Okay, so we're going to go to these two and we're going to spawn in zero seawater. This is no water in our tanks. Let's spawn it. Okay, so now see how we float nice and high in the water when we have zero water in our tanks? All right, this gives us good positive buoyancy and this allows us to uh, climb down our ladder. Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. I'm just going to test out my... Um, so pitch... Um, do I have infant electricity on? I do not. Now I do. Okay, so pitch. Um, I am pitching back with the S key. All right, now the S key should cause my nose to come up. This is doing the opposite. W should cause my uh, nose to go down. This is doing the opposite. So I need to invert those controls. That's fine. AD is going to be my rudder, so I want the rudder to go right. When I press the D key, it is. Okay, so I need to invert my pitch. That's fine. All right, so all we have to do here is I'm going to take this um, with the selection grid. I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut it. I can do two things. I'll actually do it both ways. L twice brings that. Um, now it makes the solid arrow down. Paste that. Merge it. Or we can do this. So there's the other option. Cut it. And then I'm going to use uh, U, I, or O. So U is not it. I is. So as you can see, I flips that. So I just did I. All right, so again, you can do it either way. That works. Okay, um, it should work, but I'm just going to double check it and test it. All right, so we have a nice little submarine here. Let's jump in, and uh, I'm going to test it. So I want to. I'm pressing down the S key. I want my um, nose to come up. That, as you can see, that's going to cause it to push the tail down, bringing the nose up. This is the opposite way. W is is um, going to bring the tail up, pushing the nose down. Perfect. All right, so my controls now work. So let's get working on these really quick. Okay. So I want, um, let's see how I want this done. All right, so I think I'm going to do up, down to go up, down. And I'm going to do left to go forwards, right to go um, backwards. All right, so now I don't want to connect these directly in. I'm going to do a microcontroller. Um, reason is I don't want to use full power on these. I want to use... Um, I want to limit the power uh, because it's going to be too much power. 
All right, so I'm going to do, this is my um, props. Props. Okay, I have props. Okay, let's do, first I want to logic in. That's going to be a composite from the seat, input seat. All right, this needs to go out to the, um, let's see, that's going to be a number output to, um, uh, let's see, up slash down. And this is going to be um, a number output to forward back. Um, actually, I want to do two of these. Um, this way I can control yaw. So let's go ahead and do um, port. And then let's do starboard. And make sure that's output. And that's output star. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll put in a little bit of yaw here as well. All right, so the seat, remember my, um, so let's update this. So if we look at our seat with the, um, we'll do logic composite, and we'll go to this node right here. You can see it gives you all your numbers. So we want um, up, down for up, down, right? So let's look where up, down is. W, S, left, right, up, down. Value four is up, down, okay? Value three is left, right. So now I have that memorized, but, you know, and let's connect that node. I have that memorized, but you know, if you need to ever find that, that's where it is. All right, so we want to read a number. Okay, so we want to read three. Three is going to be our left, right, which is going to be for our forwards. And um, we have, uh, this is going to be four is going to read our up, down. So four here is going to up, down. All right, now I don't want max strength. All right, currently I'd be able to get you know, all the way up to 100%. I don't want that. So I'm going to put a clamp. What a clamp is going to allow me to do is um, meter how much I um, do here. All right, so I'm just going to clamp this. I'm actually, yeah, I think, do I want to make this a little more complicated? No, I think I'll just do this. All right, so let's clamp it here. All right, so the clamp is going to be negative 0.1. That's going to allow me to go back at 10% of max power, and then point one. That's going to allow me to go, um, you know, forward at max power. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to read is AD. So AD is uh, the one composite. All right. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to do asymmetrical thrust with my uh, rear propellers. That's why I have a port and a starboard. All right. Now I'm going to clamp these at. Um, I think we'll clamp them all at 10%. All right, so one is going to be AD, and then three is going to be forwards and back. That's my left, right. And then I want to go to port and starboard. So what I'm going to do is add these together, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I want to do this one and this one, and I want to do this one and this one. I'm going to move that so you can see. All right, we'll make this port, and we'll make the starboard, and we'll see how it works, and we might have to change it. Okay, and I'll show you why it did that in a second here. Let's connect them. So we have uh, starboard goes to the starboard motor. Uh, port goes to this port motor. And then these here go to either of these motors here. All right, now let's spawn it. And I'm just testing. I don't need this in the water yet. I'm just testing this to see how it functions. I want to make sure everything's turning in the correct direction, essentially. Now, let me shut that, let, hit that that lid, rather, that hatch. Okay, so the hatch is closed. Okay, so now let's, I'm going to go out. Um, so I'm going to check left and right, left and right. I give me my forward and back. Okay, they are turning. Let me check. Okay, so if I go left, I'm going in reverse. If I go right, I'm going forwards. All right, so those are um, opposite of what I want. So I'm going to just uh, reverse those. All right, so now we're going forwards. I'm steering with my rudder. All right, so I'm just holding the right arrow. So I just want that opposite. I want left arrow to go forwards. Okay, so now one thing I want to test. Remember I hooked up AD to these propellers, so I want them to go... Um, I think I screwed that up, so I want to 
No, I think it's working, right? All right, so I'm holding my left rudder. Let me see if this does it what I want. Not yet. Okay. All right, so let me uh, invert these numbers first here. All right, so um, I need to invert these numbers here. So um, my, my three here, I'm going to do an inversion. So all that does is I do a negative x. All right, so this is my left right for um, making that go. Okay, so next thing I want to do, so this is going to put me forward and back in the correct um, direction. Now that wasn't giving me as much power as I wanted, so let's do point 0.3. Do point 0.3 like that. Let's keep that on point 0.1. That's just going to be to rotate us. Um, okay, so that should give us more power. All right, so w now what is this about? This is about yaw. So not only are we using that rudder, well, when we're not moving forwards, we can't turn 360 degrees. We can't yaw, essentially, because we um, don't have any forward momentum. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make it so that one prop goes forward, one prop goes in reverse. So we need to figure out which one we want. So this is going to be a positive. Is going to be, um, let me just check this really quick. Um, let's see what direction we're going here. So what I want to do is I want to do AD, and I want to see what which way those go. All right. All right, so let's go AD. I'm just going to hold the A and see which way our props are turning. Looks like our props are turning backwards. All right, so it's actually turning us. It's working fine. So left is going right, so we want to reverse that. Let's go the other direction. All right. So let's check this. All right, so this is just, we don't need this. This is just asymmetrical thrust. So to go to port, I want starboard forwards. Um, so this needs an inversion. All right, so we're going to invert starboard like that. Let me increase these to 0.3 as well. Uh, these are just a little slow for my, you know, they're bigger props, so they're going to be a little slower. All right, so that's going there. This is going there. Those two are there. That's fine. All right, so this is going to allow us to both rotate and go forward and back. So let's um, check this again. And I'm just going to keep checking it until it's right. Yeah, and this is the tedious part that if you enjoy engineering craft, you know, I, I enjoy this. I know a lot of people, they don't like the tedium. Uh, but this is how you get a craft to function properly. So let's go out. Let's go left arrow key. Should take us forwards. Okay, now I'm, I have them as sticky so they have to hold them. Okay, I can steer with my rudder. I can even pitch with my pitch fins. As you can see, it's pitching me the correct directions that I want. Let me check up and down. All right, now they're not in the water, so they're not going to do it for us yet. But as you can see, they're rotating. I'm going to go the opposite direction with the up arrow. They should stop and rotate the other way. Okay, they rotate the other way. We'll test. Okay, so up is down. Up is down. And down is up, so those need to be inverted. That's fine. All right, now let's try a rotation. So I'm going to hold the uh, A key all the way to the left and see if this rotates me. Okay. Now, what's doing this is you notice the uh, right prop is going forwards. The starboard prop, I'm sorry, the uh, port prop is going in reverse. The starboard prop is going um, forwards. Let's go the other way. We should rotate sideways. Now, this is what I hooked up there with the AD is rotation. So this allows us to rotate in position. So we have all of our motions. We have up, down. We have left, right, our yaw. We have we have uh, going up, we have our yaw, and we have going forward and back. So we're translating in all of our areas. The only thing we need to do here is remember I said that the up-down was reversed. So right here, up-down, that needs a inversion function. Very simple. Negative x will give us what we want. All right, so now let's do this. Um, update this. All right, so what did we say? We said 0.85 makes us neutrally buoyant. So let's go to 0.85. All right, so we're starting to get where we need to be. And let me actually do a test here. Let's hook up electricity to everything, and let's take off infinite electricity. So I'm just going to connect all my motors here. 
I'm going to connect those to the batteries. We'll connect all these batteries up. I'm going to connect all my control surfaces, and that's like that. And we are connected to electricity now. So what I can do is I can actually um, take off infinite electricity. Uh, we're not going to be able to get in this boat. That's a problem. Um, norm uh, yeah, so we're about neutrally buoyant. See how we're neutral and we're just pretty much sitting in the water? That's what we want. So I'm going to fly in. And I'm going to jump in my seat. Okay, so now I'm going to go forwards with my left. And I'm going to pitch with my um, my pitch fins. And we are starting to become a submarine. So we could use a little bit more ballast water probably. But as you can see, we're underwater. Okay, so we're a little bit positively buoyant. So 85, we need a little bit more than 85. <coughs> But as you can see, okay, so now we're going to test our um, our top prop. So I want to go up, so I'm pressing the up arrow. And as you can see, it's pushing me towards the top. That's what we want. Now I'm going to press down on my props. On my, so I'm going to press down on the down arrow, get those spinning, and now I'm going to have it take me down. All right, so it's fighting the buoyancy a little bit, so I need to... Uh, take out some buoyancy, which is fine. But see, it's pushing me to the bottom. All right, so those could be a little bit stronger. And let's grab this back in the workbench. Okay, so we're getting close to having a working submarine here. All right, and I'll go into more details of making like a diesel, um, a diesel charging system and everything in a different video. All right, so now let's start working on our ballast tanks. All right, so ballast tanks are going to be what allows us to pump water in and out. So I'm just going to make them straight through. So I'm going to make one there, make a hole there. I'm going to take fluids. All right, fluid ports. All right, fluid port there. And a fluid port here. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is... Um, I think if I want to make this more complicated, I don't. I want to make this simple. So let's do a pump. We'll do multiple pumps. So here we go. We have pumps. So this is going to be drawing water in. So we want to make sure that uh, black ring is going towards the direction of flow we want. So we want it to come in from this fluid port. And we want it to go out into the space like that. We want to then take a um, pump. I might need to move this. It's probably going to be in the way. And we want this to push out, like so. So I, yeah, I need to move that. So let's go like this. Let's go delete, delete. Let's go here. Let's grab a fluid port, and let's put it right here instead. OK. And then we'll just move that down. So I could simplify these with valves where I didn't need that. Make sure the black's going out, which it is. That's going to allow us to pump out. All right, now we're going to get rid of this uh, spawner here. And we will get rid of our meter. All right, now really quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook those up. So let me go to the seat. Let's go uh, one is going to be ballast in. In. All right, we're going to make that a toggle. Two is going to be ballast out. Ballast out. Okay, so now we need to hook up the one and twos of our seat. So let's do electricity here first. We'll make this actually function with electricity. Okay, good. Now we want to do um, data from the seat. We want one is going to be ballast in, so it's these two. And then um, two is going to be ballast out, it's going to be these two. All right, so we should be floating nice and high in the water. We are. So we just want it high enough that I can get into the craft. All right, I'm going to jump in. Okay, I'm going to start flooding my tanks. So we should be able to, uh, we might be able to look in. Can we look in? I don't think we can. So I have the one key on, and we should be taking on water. As you can see, we're getting lower in the water. Okay, so one key is now off. Okay, so we're positively buoyant. All right, so let's start pushing here with our props. All right, we're on. Okay, so we're on the we're on the bottom. Okay, so now let's stop and let's uh, take some water out. So let's do two. You should see a little some bubbles come out of the back. All right, I'm going to put a gauge in here before I get out of, out of control here. Let me put in dials. All right, I want to be able to read my water. That would be helpful to me here. 
me see if I can put them right. Uh, put them. Just want to put in a couple dials for now. Okay, so let me put meters in here. I want to be able to read my water level. <clears throat> All right, let's go a couple meters here. Let's go um, fluid level. And let's go fluid level. I don't think those need electricity. Let me check. They do not. Okay, these do though. All right, so now I'm going to be able to read my water. All right, so now let's uh, let's fix this really quick too. See how the um, see how the front's um, sitting a little bit lower than the rear. Let's fix that really quick. So all we need to do is let's take out a little bit of ballast. Let's try three weight blocks here, and let's um, let's go across with three regular blocks. Let's see if that fixed it. All right. There we go. That's sitting better. There we go. That's sitting a little bit better. That's good. I right, put a little water in. That's fine. We'll put in a uh, put in a sump tank there. All right. Let's go outside a little bit, and then uh, I will um, go ahead and go. So I can. I'm both steering with my engines, and I'm steering with that fin. All right. So now let's um, let's just focus on getting neutral bu uh, buoyancy. So let's start taking in water with one. You can see we're taking in water. All right, let's go slowly here. And let's get to neutral buoyancy. I think 690 was where we were at neutral buoyancy. All right, so let's try to get around 690. So we can put in a limiter so that it only goes to there. All right, so see how we're um, see how we're about neutrally buoyant. We're slowly still sinking, so that means we're, uh, actually, that's about perfect. See how 690, we're not coming up or down? That's neutral buoyancy. All right, so let's go forwards, so left. All right, now let's pitch with our pitch, and let's get moving here. Now, what I can do is, now, these are on reset. All right, now, I could do a couple funky things to make this um, where they're sticky. Or I could just hold the Alt key, and you notice how my X is going forwards? That's your trim. Now, I can trim my thrust so that stays on. All right, so now I actually have, see how I have too much buoyancy in the nose? See how it's pitching up? So I could trim that out with a, maybe one more weight block in the nose. All right, so now I'm just going to trim down with my um, fins, and then we're going to go down. All right, if we start running low on battery, I'll put infinite electricity on. All right, so now, you know, everybody's concerned about um, not being able to get up from the depths. Um, so if you limit yourself to a little bit of, um, so right around neutral buoyancy, you can use your props. So let me actually show you what I mean. So we're not going to go super deep, um, but I'm going to show you how, you know, if you keep with pretty close to your neutral buoyancy, you're not going to need to worry about, um, you're not going to need to worry about, um, you know, blowing your tanks. So let's take in too much water. Let's go to about 750. All right, so we should be um, we should be negatively buoyant. Let me um, stop my movement and let's test it. All right, so you see how we're hitting the bottom? That's what we want. All right, so let's pretend that we're um, let's pretend that we are um, all the way at the bottom at 300 meters. Okay, we're stuck on the bottom at 300 meters. We have too much ballast water in, and we cannot pump out. All right, so now let's use our props. So let's see if our props are strong enough to get us off the bottom. All right, notice our props are strong enough to get us off the bottom. Now let me push with my big props. So I don't need, I don't need to blow my ballast tanks. I'm not working with my ballast tanks at all. So again, let's pretend we're at 300 meters. I can use my thrust of my engines to get me off the bottom. So if I put too much ballast water in there, you notice I can get myself off the bottom with just that. Now, I'm going to let go again and see if we uh, will sink. We should be uh, sinking here in a second. All right, so see how we're, we're gently sinking? So we have a positive, um, all right, we have uh, essentially a, uh, we are, uh, negatively buoyant. We are uh, prone to sinking at this point. 
All right, so see how we're slowly sinking? All right, so let's look at our number here. All right, so with this craft configured the way it is, um, I, I don't want to have too much positive buoyancy. All right, now everybody's worried, oh, I need ballast to get down to the bottom. No, you don't. Pitch and use your engines. All right, we are currently, we are negatively buoyant. We will sink, and I can use my thrust of my engines to push myself down to the bottom. All right, now I, I wish I put a depth gauge in so we could read. We're starting to get nice and deep here. All right, now let me. Now that I'm close to the bottom, I'm just going to lay off the thrust, and I want to let it uh, settle itself on the bottom. All right, now you notice I'm I'm not going to use ballast at all. I'm not going to empty or fill my tanks. Okay, see I'm po um, negatively buoyant. I am. I have more mass than I have buoyancy. Now it's it has me sitting on the bottom. Again, oh no, I'm stuck. I need to blow my tanks. No, you don't. I'm going to use my props to get myself up. I'm going to push up on my on my uh, pitch props, and there we go. And now I'm going to use my main engines, and I'm going to pitch out of there. All right. So you don't need positive um, you don't need positive ballast and negative buoyancy to get to the bottom. You just need your props. All right. Now I can easily get. Now even if I was um, positively buoyant where my craft was prone to float I can use the power of the props to get myself to the bottom you just want to get close to neutral buoyancy all right see I got myself all the way to the bottom you know just with my props there now if you had too much buoyancy if we didn't put any water in the tanks at all yeah you're probably not gonna be able to get down because it's gonna try to bob like a cork but as you can see, I can easily control my craft using the um, using just my engines. All right, so you're gonna want those um, those uh, top bottom engine those up down engines to be able to get off the ground. But again, let's stop and let's uh, let ourselves float to the bottom or sink to the bottom rather. All right now, the reason why it's not trying to go to the bottom yet is because since we have forward momentum those fins are giving us lift so those are actually keeping us off the bottom so now as you can see we're going to settle to the bottom and we'll show this again how you don't need to have uh, positive buoyancy uh, i.e. blow your tanks with compressed air to get up alright so we sunk to the bottom what will we ever do we'll just use our engines we'll use our motors we'll use our props and we'll push ourselves off the bottom now we're off the bottom let's use our mains and even though I am uh, negatively buoyant i.e. I want to sink to the bottom I can push myself all the way to the top now once you get above 50 meters from the you know uh, when you get uh, between 0 and 50 meters you're gonna have no problem pumping out your ballast tanks all right and so once so now we, you know we're within that now let me look at my ballast tanks let me hit two and let's pump out all right, so you don't need to, you know, you don't need to uh, have it where you can blow your tanks. Would it be great? Absolutely. You know, I'm all for adding more and more stuff and complexity to the game. You bet. But um, you don't need it. People have acted, people act like they need it. You don't. You know, um, it would be great for RP. Absolutely. All right, so now let's go in here. All right, so now let's grab our craft back. All right, let me do one more test here. All right. Um, let me spawn my craft, and let's um, let's see if I was going to limit the ballast, but let's see if I can fill this 100% with water and if my props are strong enough to get me off the ocean floor. All right, so we can do that right here in base. Let's fill it all the way up to the top. All right, so there is 796, so that should be perfect. Remember, at 790, we're a good. All right, so we are gently sinking to the bottom. I could even add some more weight in on this. All right, so that's perfect. So full tanks are keeping us about neutrally buoyant, a little bit of negative buoyancy. All right, so we're going to have no problem getting off the ground here. Again, I'm going to push up on my props. Can I, can I get myself to go up? Yes, I can. 
All right now it's it's causing the nose to come up first. Um, I can let me cure that really quick. Okay, let's look at the center of gravity. Center of gravity is right there on the props. See, it's read it reads center of gravity. It doesn't read center of buoyancy. So we have more buoyancy in the nose. Let's go ahead and I think I'm going to add a couple weight blocks back to the nose. All right, so that gives me a little bit more nose. Let me uh, just do this really quick. Let me raise this up one. I need to add some wedges here. All right, so all I did here was I just raised my hatch up a little bit. That will give me a little bit more. Uh, it will decrease the chance that I have any issues with um, with water getting in there. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm starting to get into aesthetics. I'm trying not to do that. I actually liked it better the other way. Okay. All right, so now all all I was doing there was um, now as you can see that's higher in the water. That's less likely that we're going to get water in in our hatch here. All right, so we have a functioning. Um, it gives us a little bit more headroom too. All right, so we have a functioning um, submarine here. All right, so let me recap it here and we'll end the video. All right, so there are a lot of misconceptions here, um, and yes, it would be wonderful if the devs would add compressed air. Uh, I would love them to add a whole pneumatic system where we have to connect pneumatics to make pneumatic pistons work, to make things like turbos work. I would love a pneumatics work through, absolutely 100%. That's something that I would love. All right, but we didn't get it. So we can either complain about it or we can make it work in the game as it is. And so that's something we're going to need to do. And so instead of using... Um, positive and negative buoyancy to get us up and down. We can use neutral buoyancy. So I'm going to fill my tanks all the way up. I've got the one key pressed. We're filling our tanks. They're going to go to 790. And I should have no problem. Now I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll do another video here um, of me actually kind of finishing this and making this more of a cool sub. This is Stormworks Basics. All we're going to work on in Stormworks Basics is I make a very basic craft that you can then learn from to hopefully build your own craft. Um, this is not me trying to make something gorgeous. All right, so now as you can see, we are negatively buoyant. We are sinking. All right, now this is the maximum uh, negative buoyancy we can go. All right. Oh my, I'm in a huge rush for some reason. I need to get to the bottom faster. Okay, well, pitch down and use your engines push yourself to the bottom. All right, there we go. Now we're going down. All right, now I'm not going to go all the way out to deep water, but let's pretend this is deep water. Okay. Oh no, I've reached deep water. How could I possibly get... I have to, I have to just wait till we stop before those uh, fins stop trying to lift us off the bottom. All right, so we, we now have negative buoyancy. We're going to sink. All right, let's sink. It's doing it. We're still moving forward, so those fins are trying to hold us up. All right, we're very close to neutral buoyancy. That's why it's taking us a while. But you know what we can also do? Press down on our on our props and push ourselves down. All right, so now we are down on the ocean floor. Okay. All right, let's imagine we're at 300 meters and we can't pump out our tanks. Okay, well, let's just push up on our props. Our props are now going to push us off the ground. Okay, now let's start pushing forwards with our rear props. And there we go. We're off the bottom, and we're climbing, and we can climb all the way to the top without ever emptying our ballast tanks. And once we get, you know, above 50 meters, we can then make our prop our uh, tanks empty here. Up, oh, I have both one and two selected there. We'll empty our ballast tanks out. All right, so you can't, so, uh, you know, I'm not sure the exact um, depth underwater, but 
let's say it's 50 meters. If you can't empty your tanks, you know, greater than 50 meters, that's fine. Just um, wait till you get to 50 meters and empty them. As long as you're at neutral buoyancy, you can use the thrust of your craft to get up and down from the ocean bottom. All right, so just a cool little sub, um, you know, again, this is the basics. We're not going to get into too many details here. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, please post them. But a uh, little Stormworks basics on the subs and sub, a uh, little Stormworks basic sub in honor of the new, um, the new major update that came out with underwater biome. So um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.